started, I met Gloria in uh, music class, in a guitar class at PCC. We were supposed to pair off, and I loved her playing. I used to watch her play, and I used to watch her fingers, and they were like spiders. So when she asked me to play with her, I was like, oh yeah, definitely. I know Inez, aka Miss Thing. I would come to her house on Sundays when I wasn't on tour. And um, and I remember I got a hold of this upright bass, and, and it was kind of an, uh, an excuse and a reason to kind of learn how to play this, this instrument. We started playing music together, and then we started playing in our living room, which is why the CD is called uh, The Living Room Sessions. for producers, John Avila's name came up. I reached out to him and, and told him about the project and he sounded interested. So um, we met with him just to see if the vibe worked out. And he was just great to work with. He really listens to what we want. He really understood where we were going and just always, always tried to help us get there. Working with Finger Dancers has been a joyous experience. Uh, we take these really well written songs, beautifully written songs that are deep, you know, lyrically and, and melodically. And it's for me it's one of those kind of things when they entrust me with that, it's 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 a feeling like, you know, you don't want to mess this up. I had heard Todd Wolf play drums, uh, playing with John Avila. So when we got together with John, we requested him. He's a great, great drummer. Rocio Marone who's an amazing violinist. Man, I just get so distracted by her playing that I, I almost forget what I'm doing because I become an audience member. I love their music. I'm, I'm a fan of both of their musicianship. I think Gloria is a great player and Inez, I was really surprised, is an amazing guitarist and I love her vocals. Eugene agreed to come and play sax because I love his sax playing so I was really excited to have that. Eugene and I have been working together for a few years now and aside from being an amazing producer himself, I think he's just as amazing player and he just added a whole nother flavor and touch to it so we were really happy to have him on board. Dennis Hamm ended up playing the Hammond organ, and turns out he plays with like Thundercat. And that in itself explained why he was just an amazing musician. I had proposed to Inez that we should call this album The Living Room Sessions, just because these songs were created in her living room. This is not only her house, but it's her studio, it's, it's our rehearsal space, it's, it's where these songs really came alive. <laughs> The unique thing here is that Gloria is is from Boyle Heights, LA, and I'm from New York and East Coast, West Coast, and still we we just click musically. We finish each other's phrases, and it just works like that. I think the music really brought us together and our love for all kinds of music, but specifically blues and jazz. So the concept of the two of us making music, it just, it makes sense. It, and it sounds like it makes sense. And hopefully we'll be able to take this to a living room near you, because that, that I think captures what the project really is. Mm -hmm. 